I found a big rock. Oh! I just hit a rock. We're fine though. What's up? I hit a rock, but I'm fine. Okay, cool. He's losing t uh, power. I mean, uh, 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 air. In his tire. My car won't start because of low tire pressure. <sighs> you have the, the, uh, thing, don't you? No, it's in your car. He said it's in the back seat. I've got a hole in my tire, but we should be able to get down if I pump it up to 35 and get down. Do you have a spare? I have a donut. Alright, so how last is what we're doing on that? Basically. Are you gonna buy a new tire as soon as we get down into town again, or what are you gonna do? I'm probably gonna have to. Alright, as long as you're not like super worried about it, it's gonna be fine. So, it started raining and hailing. Uh, and we're low on power steering fluid, so we're I'm trying low on power steering fluid. Scott's car just started losing air in his tire, so his car's not gonna start until it has air in it. So he's airing up about probably 50, 60 yards behind me. And I'm just waiting until it comes back. Uh, it's hard for me to turn the steering wheel right now. Until I can refill my power steering, but I can top it off before we left. And the donuts I just did didn't help it either. That's why I don't do donuts very often. But yeah, that's the gist of it. Yeah, so yeah, let's go on the trail though. Call out, down it. I don't know how, but you have no scratch at all. Did you guys keep going or did you stop? We're stopped, we're waiting for you. Alright, PSI is at 6, so well, it's going up, I think, I hope. I mean, we're, we're in the car right now. It's at zero star. You don't have any patches, do you? No, I didn't think I'd need one. Should have been a little bit more prepared, and I, it, the PSI on my gauge still says zero, so I don't know if I'm going to get anything. I have some vinyl patches, but I don't know if that's going to work. Right. There's no harm in trying. And I have duct tape. Does Scott have the lug nuts to put his spare on his tire? I have no clue. He's outside right now. Okay. Do you have the lug something nuts for uh, the spare? No, he doesn't. He doesn't know, actually. Dallas is on his way over there. Dallas is? Yeah, he's going to walk up there towards y'all. Okay. It'll turn on, but I can't turn. My steering wheel's locked. Is that car? I can start the car. I can't turn. Yeah. Tire pressure is going up, so but sure. Patch sort of works. We'll see. He's right there. Okay, so you scraped the rock right here as well, or is that rock? It was that rock right here. Yeah, that rock right there. And then the car, like, just stopped turning? So after many calls and no one being able to tow me out, we decided to change the tire on the fly. We thought with me having locking lugs that the key wouldn't fit my tire iron, 
so we ended up using channel locks at first, but quickly realized that my tire iron actually fits my key, and we ended up using that instead to get my tire off. I mean, you can get a patch done on it, but for truck tires, that's like the worst thing ever. I'm not gonna try it, I'm just gonna get it. Whoa. Can't steer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Tiny. Finally got the spare on with everyone's help. <laughs> He's over here like... Okay, that go. wheel gap though! <laughs> Woo wait, wait like look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> after getting the puncture tire off and the tiny spare on, we started our 15 mile journey down a Jeep trail without power steering and a donut. After driving 15 or so miles through all that dirt and obstacles, we finally hit pavement. We should probably start airing up the tires, FYI. One of many good Samaritans that came along the way. Yeah, no, we're, we're airing up. So after that good Samaritan came and left, we got a visit from another friendly face that showed up. Barely managed. No, so I got stuck in between a rock like this. After talking with the ranger for quite a bit, he gave Dallas some ADF to top off his power steering, and we'd be on our way. After we finished airing up the tires, of course. Yes, so. We also ended up swapping my passenger front and rear wheels since that was what we were told to do before really going any further. Oh, I hear your brakes. After finally making it to the meeting point at the highway, we called for a tow. After calling, they said it would be another three hours before we'd be able to actually get towed. So we did the only other thing that we could do. We drove another 15 miles to Maya's house down a highway, with no power steering and a donut, along with not having any food all day. We're here. Finally. Subaru is still here, still waiting for tow truck to come. They should have been here at 9, it is now like 11, and they still haven't come because they closed the roads because of tree trimming. So, yeah, still here with my donut and my power stealing failure.
pretty much. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. How much scraping did you do? Gee, I didn't scrape at all. I just yeah, hit that, that just barely. Bye, Subaru.